Hello everyone, this is Debiria from Debiria's Naturals and Cases for Evolutionary Empowerment. What I want to do today is I'm going to get some cards and I'm going to, I want to talk about this twin flame, these unions, these mass unions that's going on with soulmates and such. And I want to get, I just want to give us some kind of guidance on the matter because I am feeling that the collective is lost. I'm feeling a little lost and I'm feeling like uh okay. I'm feeling like it's getting to a point where it's draining to go on this journey and feminines kind of want to give up because they're falling into these ego traps of why am I putting up with this shit? Um, why am I allowing this person to make me feel this way? And what we gotta understand is that when you're dealing with a twin flame union or situation, I wanna say union because if you know you have a twin flame, you are in union, pseudo union, people call them separation, all this stuff, but once you meet them, you're it, you're with them. There is no turning back because you are one soul split into two bodies having separate experiences. And so when you're like, what are, why are they treating me like this? It's really, you treating yourself like this. So I, I'll have to do more information on that later, but let's just see. Um, we're going through a soul activation and our a definition and interpretation of love is being rewritten. Um, the old paradigm is gone. Like what you think it is, it's not that. Let's let's get a look at it. Like, what do you want to tell the source uh, about the new paradigm? What do you want to tell us about this paradigm? Okay, so as you guys see, this wants to come out. over <laughs> is important. <laughs> this is a contract. The twin flame union is a contract. This is what you have to understand. You have to understand that <laughs> contracts are legally binding. Soul contracts are binding. You cannot get out of a soul contract. Contract. <laughs> Is a connection with a divine counterpart. Connections and divine counterparts is letting you know this is a contract with your divine counterpart. And <laughs> not only is the universe stranger than we think, but the universe is stranger than we can think. So while y'all probably <laughs> looking at this video like, what is she talking about? Twin flames, one soul split into two bodies, and experiencing life here on earth, and then you run into this person, you. You called this person, you manifested this person, they manifested you into the life because you've done the soul work. And it is now part of your journey that you have the other half of your soul now in your life. Your operation. I was just about to say for you to come back into being a whole person. Okay, when I think about operation, I think about, I feel like. He's talking about surgery. Like you were split into two bodies. Your soul is just... And it's time for you to come back and be one again. Again, don't just write it off as, oh, that's not possible. Not only is the universe stranger than we think... It is stranger than we can think. We don't even have the ability to comprehend what this really means. It's a soul. It's a country.
contract a divine connection. That's it's from God. A divine connection. Okay, I just I'm going. It says heart, mind over heart. So uh, an artificial insemination. It's like letting your mind tell you a lie, you know, that your heart knows this is true what I'm talking about. It know your heart, your inner soul knows that what I'm telling you is the truth. That you're this is for people who know they're in it. And the mind over heart. It's in your mind that you're in separation from your twin. It's in your mind that you're in separation. Because in your heart, you're together. Already in the in the spirit realm and in your emotions, you're already together. It's only in your mind. It's a lie. It's, it's deception of your own mind that you are not together. You are with the other half of your soul. You have met your other the other piece of you and you are in contact and connection with them and you think y'all not y'all are in separation you think y'all not together and this is because you're using your mind you're trying to use it's stronger than you know stranger than we think you are these are your thoughts these are constructs of your own mind that have you believing that <laughs> The Most High is trying to get us to the sixth dimension. The sixth dimension of love. The sixth dimension of being. He's trying to raise our vibrational frequency. Um, the, this 5G thing is about um, tapping into the fifth dimension with technology. But it, the Most High has said, I got the best technology ever. I created it from the beginning. When I created uh, man and woman, when I created them, male and female, I created them. And he's trying to get us to vibrate higher. The divine source is trying to get us to divide. To, it's a, we have to do this. It's a contract. It's a divine connection. It's an operation. It's all part of the grand experiment. For us to complete these cycles and graduate to the next level. The next level being the sixth dimension. And these are cards I made. I'm just going to hold on to that and leave that out. Because, and most high I will send you a comforter. Your comforter is your other half. Your other, the other part of your soul. This is the comfort for you. And to ease your mind to know that this is, you don't be not discouraged and I said okay now addictions addictions is falling out because addictions is a major part of issues people have with their twin flame unions and at the bottom of the deck it says the answer is yes yes addictions <laughs> is a major factor because we do not want to let go of the things that we know are toxic, the things that we know are bad for us, the things that we know hurt ourselves. When you have an addiction, for instance, when you have an addiction, you smoke or you drink. You're doing it to ease your pain. You do it because it makes you numb, because you don't want to feel. But you're ultimately hurting yourself. So when your twin is acting up, or you're acting up, you go back to these addictions, you're not, you're hurting them, you're hurting yourself, because you are them. It's also, the part, of the grand experience, this operation, grand experiment, this operation for the divine counterparts, to come into contract, and complete this cycle by, overcoming addictions the answer is yes so that means i'm on the right track with that union didn't i just say that i just said the purpose of it is for us to come together oh wow on point on point love it love it love it spirit total rabba total rabba yeah yes wow wow overcoming addictions 
Ah, I feel it. Look at this. Karmic partner. Okay. <laughs> Overcoming addictions. So, this is the person who will help you. This is like, if you hate talking to the person who can fix you. You hate talking to yourself. You hate it because this is a mirror. This person is a mirror. And if you can't look at yourself and love yourself, regardless, regardless, then you can never overcome these addictions because it's deeper than love, like what you think it is. What you think love is, it's deeper than that. It's not, oh, I love you. It's not that. Love is not that. Love is a very strange thing that you cannot describe. And I'm not talking about the chemical love. I'm not talking about the lust. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about unconditional love. And this this is your karma. This is, and it's not, people hear the word karma, karma or karmic. They, they think of something negative. I'm um, going to pause the video for a second because my battery's getting low. So, Okay. So. Uh, excuse me. I'm going to have to figure out how to put this together. But, okay. So, what I was just saying was um, karma. Karmic partner. This is... You think about karma as being something negative... And you think about karma as being something like, oh, karma's going to get you. Karma's a bitch, you know. But karma's also what you deserve. And it's positive, too. It's also what you, the work you have done for your soul is um, a blessing. It's a blessing for doing the soul work. A blessing for doing the soul work. Um, to be able to... <sighs> experience oneness and the spirit wants you to know uh that you're stronger than this you you always you feel you may feel like it is stronger than you and that it is overwhelming and that you want to you're like oh, i wish i never i wish i never met her or him at all even though i love her so she got love me <laughs> but you it's like it makes you feel like this is overwhelming this is too much but you codependent behavior okay in twin flame unions the codependent behavior again uh, the sense that i have been hearing people using the word codependency is like they want you to break that yeah they want you to break this codependent behavior to where you feel like you need someone or you don't need anything or you don't need anyone this person is you you are you so why would you feel like you need them when they are you and you are them you have them they have you you are one soul the issue mainly is the three the three d is the issue because most of us are already together in the 5d i mean you are already together in the 5d your soul is already one in the 5d or most have wants us to vibrate to the 6d which would be the physical and the spiritual union of the twin flames of your soul okay so this quarantine came out. Now, the quarantine occurred to trigger the union. Now, you're like, how can being quarantined trigger the union unless you're quarantined with the person? No. Some people are quarantined with other people so that they can learn how to love themselves, so that they can see that they are not in connections that are useful, that are beneficial to their soul, that are healthy. Some people are quarantined with their twin flame uh, so that they can uh, burn through some of these addictions that they have between each other, with themselves, with their codependent behavior, and also with these... Um, <sighs> Some of them are 
in a honeymoon stage, you know, quarantined in a honeymoon stage, you know, just and not everyone is going through a hard time. It just says union. Some of you are quarantined away from your divine counterpart so that you can realize that it is your divine counterpart that you have a contract and that you two are together, will be together, and it's triggering triggering you to it's a grand experiment experiment to trigger you to give me the word spirit true you to come into union true you to do the soul work trigger you it's triggers 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 and you know trigger is bad no triggers are not bad triggers are there to show you what needs to be freaking healed Awaken your personal power, manifest it, master it, and multiply it. Just like I said, to trigger you so that you could become better. I said, I thank you, Spirit. I asked you to give me the words. He wants you to awaken your personal power, manifest it, master it. That's the purpose of this conclusion. I mean, this <laughs> conclusion, right? Because there is things are coming to an end and created to win. All this stuff is created for you to win, for the for. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is just so much. This grand experiment was created to, to win, for us to vibe higher, for us to get into this uh, sixth dimensional energy. Fourth dimension. Okay. Created to win. Okay. Fourth dimension. Okay, let me explain to you what the fourth dimension is. The fourth dimension is, I rather you be the hot or cold, uh, it's not lukewarm because I'll spew you out, your, out of my mouth. That's a scripture or something like that. I don't remember how it, precisely it is, but the word is written on the tables of my heart, so I know what the hell it means. Uh, you the one that don't know, that's why I'm telling you. The fourth dimension is having one foot in, one foot out. In the third dimension, in the fifth dimension. Right now, we are in and out, and they want us to, oh, the most high wants us to be in union. Wants us to be not just in union. What would I want y'all to understand? This is not just talking about union with another person uh into a relationship or sexually this is about spiritual union with the divine source this wants us out of this fourth dimensional energy which is why we have been quarantined with <laughs> i want to say we've been quarantined with these addictions so that we know so we can cycle we can complete these cycles and graduate up out of this fourth dimensional energy being in and out it wants us to awaken our uh personal power again don't this all part of a grand experiment not only is the universe stranger than we think stranger than we can think you can't even fathom okay you guys hear children in the background it's because i am a mother and it's about time for them to come in okay Spirit, is there anything else you want to share with us about this twin flame union? Uh, I know, like I said, Divine Feminine has been feeling kind of whew, overwhelmed. Like, oh, I'm doing all the work. Oh, I'm doing all the spiritual work. You don't know that. Divine Masculine is doing his part. You just, it's not for you to see. That is, and you're like, what? You just said he me and I'm him. I should see. You do see. You're just not looking because you're being wrapped up in this form, in this body. Be still and watchful wow i just got through saying you don't see you don't see the work that the most high is doing for your divine masculine with your divine masculine through you through him because you are not being still or watchful most i said be still and watchful and meditate because you can't google knowledge of yourself oh my god spirit is just blowing my mind right now wow wow oh my goodness I'm going to leave this out. I'm going to leave this out. Okay, y'all have to excuse me. I get a little... Oh, be still and watchful. Yeah. I, oh my goodness. Oh, that was for divine feminine. <laughs> Motherfucking Tyrone. Okay, y'all excuse me. Me and my sister, we intuitively made these cards. And it would take her to explain what motherfucking Tyrone means. Uh, but... 
Now we're talking about divine masculine here. And in your mind, motherfucking Tyrone. Now, the reason why we say motherfucking Tyrone is because Tyrone is the person who is not acting right, is not in alignment, or so we think. You know, we think. So we're going to talk about this person who we think is not in alignment, not acting right, divine masculine, who is out there shooting the shit, thinking about uh, nothing but money, always chasing money, always chasing his friends, not doing the soul work necessary to come into union. This came into my hand and is saying soul retrieval. So he is doing work. You just don't see it. Motherfucking Tyrone is doing soul retrieval. And this is this is tedious work. Be watchful and meditate because motherfucking Tyrone is doing soul retrieval. He's having to retrieve those parts of himself that he has given away, that he has lost. Those parts of himself that have been hurt. Uh he has some inner child wounds that need to be healed. Thus the addictions. He has the addictions. And this quarantine was so he can complete the cycle and graduate to the next level because he's in this fourth dimensional energy. You, and he has to await the grand experience because it's time for Divine Masculine. He's been operated on. That's the soul retrieval. It's for him to awaken his personal power in this divine connection. His soul knows he's in contract with you. Again, Divine Feminine. Do judge each day, not by the harvest you reap, but by the seeds you plant. You have sown the seeds. You've sown the seeds. Don't judge it based. Don't judge motherfucking Tyrone based on what he doing. Because you don't know behind the scenes what's going on. You don't know behind the scenes what's going on. That's why the Spirit said, be still, be watchful, meditate. Because you can't Google knowledge of yourself. You can't, you can't, I'm going to even say this, you can't be on Facebook looking to see what he's doing. And you have to mind your premature expectations. Premature expectations of what you think that he should be doing. He's, he's in operation, he's in surgery right now. You can't, if, if, after surgery that shit is painful. You have to heal after surgery. You have premature expectations. You need to check yourself. That's why you need to be still and watchful. Because if you be still and watchful, you'll see he's in pain. He's in pain. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says, I'm possible. If y'all hear that, please excuse it. I live with people. Nothing is impossible. So... This is basically saying don't give up. Don't think that it's impossible. Don't think it's impossible for motherfucking Tyrone to be going doing soul retrieval, doing soul work. Don't think it's impossible um, because you don't see the harvest yet. You planted the seeds. These are premature expectations for you to think that a plant should automatically be in bloom and bearing fruit. When it just had surgery, it was just planted. And it needs time to, to grow. And that's the reason some of us have to go into separation because he cannot grow while you're watching him, while you're in his presence because you're going to put that pressure on him. You're putting pressure on him to, uh, like, someone just had an operation and they have to learn to walk again. And sometimes a family member might be really hard on them saying, you could do this, you could do this, you could do this. But they don't, they never had that experience before or they go, they know that the experience, they may have had the experience before and they say, you could do this, but sometimes it's too hard and sometimes you pressuring them gives them an excuse to uh what's the word it gives them an excuse to deflect and say oh it's your fault you're putting too much pressure on me i can't do this and it gives them an excuse to act out it gives them an excuse to go into these addictions yeah so uh sometimes the separation is necessary is necessary to maintain the integrity of the experiment. You cannot be uh, prematurely affecting the outcome of the seeds that were sown. You cannot uh, force this growth. This is the I got a, a game changer. The separation is the game changer. Nothing else, spirit. That he wants to tell us about the biomasculine. Okay, there is stagnation. 
heart over mind. Okay, before the mind over heart had you thinking that, um, you know, things it can't, you know, are not going right. But again, you use your heart over mind. If you understand this stagnation, it's because you've been going mind over heart. And now it's telling you, you go heart over mind, you know, use your heart to see. You use your heart over your mind to the stagnation and end the karmic cycles. Again, cycle complete, graduation, next level. That is the purpose of having the heart over the mind when you're dealing with divine masculine. You have to deal with him with love and compassion the same way you want him to deal with you because he is you. <laughs> One thing I know about healing, it helps to speak kindly to yourself a lot. Speak kindly to yourself. It's encouraging to know that you are supported during the process, the healing process. <sighs> By yourself. Ooh, I feel so loud. Okay. Spirit wants to say, he wants you to have the mindset, don't give up. And forward, forward thinking, think forward, think ahead of time. You know what's coming. You know what this ends, what this leads up to. Like I said, that mind over heart situation was negative thinking. They want your mindset to, if you're going to use your mind, you have this never give up mentality and forward thinking, knowing you already know. You already know this is a divine connection. This is teaching you so much. You just have to. Kindness is like snow. It beautifies everything it covers. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself that is him. Be kind to yourself that is her. The answer is yes. Spirit agrees. I want to keep going. Because there is a card in here that actually tells me to stop. So, I, I like to go until I see it. But, I don't know. Let's see. Soulmate. You understand that this is your soulmate. You are your soulmate. Your soulmate is you. And sometimes social distancing may be necessary to deal with yourself so that you can heal from this operation. So you can heal. And battle the negative. Again, don't give up. Battle those negative thoughts. Battle... Fighting back with this mindset of don't give up. The battle itself is not negative. You're battling the negative so you can come into union. And one with source. The divine love of God is so intense and we're in these physical bodies experiencing it. Reset, slow down, 3D. Okay, so it's telling me. This, this is, a, this is a, a reset that is positive. Okay, slowing down. Okay, all these things I was talking to you about was spiritual. And the spirit does not care about time. It does not exist. It's a construct of the mind. And it's to reset this. And, and this quarantine was to reset us and slow us down in 3D so that we can work on these divine connections to fulfill this contract. The universe has its own way of balancing things. For some reason, I'm seeing it says fifth dimension and then trapped. 
this reset is so we can learn to vibrate higher so we don't get trapped in this fifth dimension because a lot of us are stuck in a fifth dimension with our connection and again it showed that it wants us that uh this the union is stuck in the in the fifth dimension right now and this whole experiment is to bring it out by resetting the the 3d so we can have it in the sixth dimension you do <laughs> One night with the king. Oh well. This is about okay. My one night with the king card is when you have that experience um, of being. You have that one night that the union is vibrating on its highest level. Um, well, you're together. You're. This is the goal to be with the king, to be with divine source, to be with your king, to be with your queen. Um, so be it. Uh, <laughs> This is what you want, and so this is what it will be, um, because this is old to you, this, this blessing, this beautiful union, this twin flame union, oh, I'm going to close it out on that. And just, just be open to change. You don't know what's coming. You know, <laughs> you know in the spirit. You know in your spirit. I feel that to keep pulling. <sighs> it's telling you in this way, flame journey to be open to change. You know what the end game is, but oh my God, it's like, can you really? We have Dark Knight of the Soul, and we have The Matrix, Game Over, and Path. Dark Knight of the Soul is the path to end the game of The Matrix. Okay, Dark Knight of the Soul, you have to do the soul work. You have to have to look at your darkness. You have to do soul retrieval in order uh, and this is the path uh, that you must go down in order to end the game of the ma that that is the matrix. This is the grand experiment. Dark Knight of Soul is the path to end the game of the matrix. Not only okay, y'all gonna be like, oh, she's crazy, but. Not only is the universe stranger than you think, it's stranger than you can think. <laughs> I love that card. Because it's like, just when you're like, whoa, mind blown. Right. Positive. Saying it's stranger than you can think. It's affirming that. It's not, not bad. It's all, all things work for the good. Of, I said those who serve the Lord. spirit you can trust source remember to trust your own soul and on that note i'm going to end this video i love you and see you next time